Tony Silvera and I welcome you to my evening devotional. On tonight's episode we see uh, what, what happened with an earthquake and fire in Numbers uh, chapter 16 verses 31 to 35. It says, as soon as he's finished uh, saying all this, the ground under them split apart and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them and their households, and all those associated with Korah together with their possessions. They went down alive into the realm of the dead, with everything they owned. The earth closed over them, and they perished and were gone from the community. At their cries, all the Israelites around them fled, shouting, The earth is going to swallow us too. And fire came out from the Lord and consumed the 250 men who were offering the incense. This episode uh, tells us about a rebellion, a rebellion that happened in the desert, uh, named the Rebellion of Korah, after uh, the name of the leader of uh, the rebellious people. So the Rebellion of Korah uh, demonstrates the grim consequences of usurping the authority of God and of those whom he chooses, who he has chosen to be leaders of his people. Who was Korah? Korah was the oldest son of uh, Izar, uh, who was the son of uh, Kotat of the tribe of Levi. Korah, when uh, was the same tribe, uh, then was the same tribe as Moses and Aaron, but he led a rebellion against them, accusing uh, Moses and Aaron of exalting themselves above the congregation of the Lord. You can read in Numbers 16, 1 to 3. Korah was not alone in his charge. He was able to gather 250 other men to challenge Moses' authority as well. Uh, and he told, you have gone too far. The whole community is holy, uh, every one of them, and the Lord is with them. Why then do you set yourselves above the Lord's assembly? So this is the accusation. Uh, in uh, response, uh, Moses proposed a test to prove the source of his authority. And Korah and his followers did not pass the test. God opened up the earth and swallowed the rebels, their families, and all their possessions. Not only that, but uh, furthermore, fire came out from the Lord, says the Bible, and consumed uh, the other 250 men who were uh, party to Korah's rebellion. The rest of the Israelites were terrified and started to run away. They fled. And um, uh, this uh, episode uh, was a miracle, uh, in spite of being a terrible thing that happened, but it's a miraculous uh, event that targeted uh, first one man and his family and then all the, rebel, the rebellious people. And 1,500 years later, Jude records a strong warning about such men who come to church as false teachers, arrogating themselves the authority of God and his word. So in, in Jude verse 11, uh, we read, Woe to them, for they walked in the way of Cain and abandoned themselves at the sake of gain to Balaam's error and perished in Korah's rebellion. Korah's rebellion is uh, mentioned here uh, to a point to, or to uh, say what it will be the destiny of false teachers within the church. 
And uh, uh, we know that this, uh, the signs will include uh, pride, selfishness, jealousy, greed, lust for power, disregard for the will of God. Just like Korah, uh, today's false teachers disregard God's plan, are insubordinate to God's appointed authorities, and their end will be the same as Korah's. Uh, thus the warning uh, here in Scripture, woe to them. Uh, concluding these uh, thoughts for tonight's devotional, uh, God selected men of his own choosing. And uh, God is not interested in holding a popularity contest like people do in social media or collecting resumes, letting someone appoint himself to the position of prophet, apostle, priest, leader. Korah's uh, uh, problem was not that he was unqualified. Humanly speaking, for the, that position, he was, but uh, uh, he was arrogant, stiff-necked, and self-promoting. Uh, today, we uh, see these signs, unfortunately, but God's true leaders, the elders and pastors of the church, who shepherd the flock with humility and care, have an accurate understanding of, of scriptures. The final destiny for those who self-promote is the destiny uh, of Korah. Uh, Jesus himself warned his disciples about uh, uh, this. He said, Matthew 7, 15, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. God uh, did not call Korah. He called Moses. In Exodus, Exodus chapters 3 to 4, we see that God calls whom he chooses and he equips them for service. And even if a, a leader uh, is not in church, is not very popular uh, in, in a, uh, organizing rebellion against uh, leadership that God appointed, uh, has always dire consequences. I've seen this through uh, all the years of ministry, uh, people that cause divisions, that have this attitude of Korah, uh, of saying, oh, uh, uh, God did not call you, or uh, they appoint themselves as leaders, they call themselves uh, pastors without uh, having a flock, they call themselves apostles without any apostolic uh, call. And uh, more and more we will see this happening nowadays as Jesus told us uh, that when the end uh, times are approaching, uh, these things will happen. Um, sometimes being a leader, it's a solitary thing and we need to learn this. So this was today's devotional. I like to pray that uh, uh, God will protect us from getting involved in this type of rebellions uh, today in God's uh, church, among God's people, and that God will protect us, give us the wisdom to identify those whom he has called. So God, I pray tonight for my friends watching this evening devotional, and as uh, Jude warned us in scripture to beware of uh, false teachers, of uh, false uh, priests, uh, God, we want to be able to identify those and protect us from getting involved in these types of rebellion. Uh, God, in Jesus' name, I pray for protection over God's children and for a great blessing over them and their families. In Jesus' name, amen. So this was it for tonight. Tomorrow we'll continue seeing the miracles in the wilderness. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this time together. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, you can uh, go to myeveningdevotional.substack.com to get access to all the formats of this message, either be text, uh, audio, or video. You can access uh, different uh, uh, media uh, there at uh, Substack. So this was it. Have a pleasant evening. God bless you. I'll see you here again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.